Hello everyone and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. Today Zach is going to be making for you one of our February scents which is called Tall Dark and Handsome. Just like every batch of soap we will start out first by pouring our lye water solution which is at about 110 120 degrees Fahrenheit into our signature plant-based oil blend which also is in that 110, 120 degree zone. We will then stick blend this until it is completely emulsified and at a light trace. You can see here we're gonna speed it up a little bit just to get it a thin pancake batter consistency. Once it is at that desired consistency and we don't see any excess oil on the top there, we will strain in our colloidal oatmeal slurry. This is a blend of colloidal oatmeal and some water. The water is actually the extra water we need to add because of the kaolin clay that we add to every batch of soap. It um, helps so your loaves do not crack. We'll strain out that colloidal oatmeal slurry to get any lumps and clumps out, and then we will just incorporate that quickly to make sure it is evenly distributed throughout that soap batter. Next, we will add in our custom fragrance blend along with some kale and clay, which we just suspend in that fragrance oil to make it a little easier to incorporate. This is a custom blend for us it's citrusy, it's woodsy, there's a little bit of sweetness, as well as some smokiness and spiciness from that tobacco. We will blend that until it is incorporated. We do want to keep this pretty loose because of the pattern that we have in mind here. We will split off into two separate pour pitchers, basically a loaf's worth of soap batter. We don't measure this out, we're not going for exact ratios. We just want to basically split it off into three separate batches and then we will pour in our colorant which is just suspended in a little bit of our soap base that we take out of the Cambro there before we blend in the lye water solution. So the first color we're doing here is a black dark gray black color and then the second color we're adding in is a blue. This is kind of a denim -y blue jeans blue and it really contrasts well with that black color. So we will just hand blend this in. And then we are ready to pour into our soap mold. So we want to pour in a base layer of that uncolored soap base. We're going to use it all up so we will scrape out this container until it is as clean as possible. We won't be coming back to it. And then we're going to pour in thin lines of the dark gray black color and you'll see here we're going to do forward and backward passes basically along the whole soap mold here but we will not be completely pouring all of the soap base in because we will be doing um, black and blue layers on the top there and then we will just repeat that with the blue jeans color as well. After we are done putting in the last few lines of that blue jean color we will actually wait for about a minute and a half until the soap base is set up a little bit. Because we are doing layers, we don't want the soap batters to be too liquidy or they will run together. They are liquid after all. So you kind of have to find a good balancing point of thin enough to pour and get smooth layers, but thick enough that the colors don't blend together. We will scrape out the last bit of that dark black batter and then smooth out that layer. We want to have as smooth a layer as possible for the blue jeans color that we're going to put on next. This isn't going to be completely smooth just based on how thick the batter is though, and that's alright. 
we will then stir up our blue jeans soap batter a little bit to kind of get it liquidy or as liquidy as possible and you can see there we are using the spatula to actually break the fall a little bit um, and then based on how thick everything is we abandoned that all together and we just started pouring that blue soap batter on the top because we don't want to have everything set up and be too clumpy we'll scrape out that container as well and then smooth that top coat out just like the last one we want to get it as smooth as possible once we're satisfied with how smooth that top coat is, we will be dusting on a custom gunmetal gray mica blend. And this is just in a tea strainer from Ikea. We just want to get a nice even coating there on the top for the next step in our design process. The next step in becoming tall, dark, and handsome is that we are actually going to put a big spiral design in the top of the soap just using a wooden dowel we will slowly make concentric circles getting larger and larger this is like most of the soap making process kind of a balancing act because you want it to be liquidy enough to get your design in there but you don't want it to be too set up or you won't be able to make these nice crisp lines it kind of will just pull all of the soap batter and it will not look nice. It will not give you a nice finished product. And now 24 hours later, I will be splitting that soap slab into three loaves and you'll be able to see that really cool design here i actually sliced this the wrong way um, so the design doesn't specifically exactly look like how we had intended it still looks really cool um, but next time we make this design i will be flipping that slab um, to make sure that i'm cutting it front to back not side to side Regardless, still is a beautiful product, and now we get to slice those loaves up. You can see that really cool design there on the inside, and also that swirly design on the top with that shiny blue-gray color that we blended. And now we will use our Workshop Heritage Soap Slicing Tool to break those loaves into 4.5 ounce size bars and this is our favorite part because you can see how different each and every bar is, how unique each loaf is even. And that is it. That is the finished product there, Tall, Dark, and Handsome. It will be for sale February 1st on our website, so definitely check it out there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see what Rainbow Crafts comes up with next.